Hi there. As a coder, tinkerer, and a proponent of free and open source software, I've been partial to Linux operating systems for almost as long as I've been intrigued by computers. And while I'm still partial to Linux systems and use one every day for work, I can't ignore some of the things Microsoft has done in recent years to make people like me feel a bit more at home in Windows. So over the past few months, I've been customizing my Windows environment to be more developer friendly by adopting a package manager, the Windows terminal, and WSL, the Windows subsystem for Linux. Today, I want to show off a neat little piece of software for displaying system stats in the Windows taskbar, which you can already see here. There are a few options that do similar things, and while I did not check them all out for a fair comparison, this one is simple and shows me exactly the information I need. So, you know, if you have a preferred uh, system stats monitor that you like, then just pop in the comments and tell me all about it and tell me why you like it and maybe what are some of its limitations. Chances are, though, that if you've been a longtime Windows user, you may already be familiar with uh, this piece of software called X meters. But I wasn't, and I'm just happy to share what I found. So if you hop into your browser and you go to entropy6.com slash xmeters, then you can see the web page for this piece of software. And already here, you're seeing what you can get out of it. You could uh, have that customized to show text and bars and more text and pie charts, if that's, that's what you're into. You can download the software by clicking on the download button and you have a choice between the free version and the professional version for $5. The only limitation on the free version here is that you don't have a fully configurable refresh rate. Uh, I'm satisfied with the refresh rate that comes with the free version. So that's what I have. Uh, yeah, so just download that software, install it. And once you do, you'll get some stats showing up here in the default configuration with the default configurations. So if you left click on it, you get your typical uh, task manager that you have in Windows and you can access by quite a number of other means through your start menu or with keyboard shortcuts. However, if you right click on it, you get the settings for X meters itself. And so right now you can see that we're showing stats for the CPU, the storage, the network, uh, and for the computer's memory. You can also customize whether or not you wanna see bars like this, pies like that, and text. I like text, so that's what I'm going to show here. This is the refresh rate I was talking about, and as you can see, I can't go below the limitation of three seconds. However, I could increase it if I want, but I'm cool with uh, having it at three. On each of these tabs as well, you can customize uh, the colors that you want uh, your stats to show up in. On the CPU section, you can see here that we can show different colors for how much uh, of your CPU utilization is being uh, is occupied by you know your system processes versus your user processes. Uh, you can also break out your stats to the logical cores. I don't really need to see all of that, so I combine my logical cores to show on the stats for uh, my physical cores. So here you can see your storage as well, read write data transfer speeds. Uh, network, receive, send data transfer speeds, and memory. You, by default, well, that's the only option, really. You can see the percentage uh, of memory that's being used. But over here, you can click on About, and here you can check for uh, daily updates, uh, or updates daily. Uh, you can buy, you can choose to buy X meters, or you can go online for a bit of uh, help if you need to tinker with something or ask some questions. So that's really it, folks. Like I mentioned, it's very simple. And uh, it shows me exactly the information that that I need. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video or learned a thing or two. If the written word is more your style, check me out on medium.com or on Twitter, both at O'Neill Harrison. Until next time, peace.